In this video, I just want to go through the technologies that I'm using to build my latest side project. So my goal for this side project is to just get something out there because I find whenever I start a new project, I always chop and change the technologies, which is great because you get to learn different things, but I find that it really stops me from actually just getting something out there. So this side project is just a URL shortener, but it's a URL shortener that's going to be used, I hope, for brands that want to sponsor creators. So let's say we have a brand that wants to sponsor me. They give me a link from this URL shortener. And when people click that link, they can see how many people clicked it. But on top of that, they can assign a value for it. So let's say that I get a sponsorship for $1,000 then they can say that this campaign cost $1,000 and then they can calculate from each click how much a click cost them. There's some other analytics that I wanna build off the back of that, but that's basically the MVP that I'm trying to build. Okay, so there's a few components to this side project. The first, of course, is going to be the UI. And for the UI, I'm just using the T3 stack. So I'm gonna use Next.js and then I'm also going to be using Next Auth. So the only reason that I'm using next auth is because it comes with T3 and it's actually just super simple to get up and started with. Again, I can change this out later, but my goal is to just get something out. And this was my quickest path to getting something out. For the UI, I'm using Mantine UI. So the other options here would be Chakra or Tailwind, but I like Mantine UI and it's just sort of my go-to for side projects because it comes with a lot of components and I find that I can build really fast with it. So the next component is obviously the API and because I'm using the T3 stack, we have TRPC here. And then for the database, I'm using Postgres and I'm using that with Neon. So that is neon.tech and this is just a Postgres database in the cloud. So to interact with the Postgres database, I've actually ripped out Prisma and I've replaced that with Drizzle. So to do that, I had to make a custom adapter for next auth that works with Drizzle. As far as I understand, the Drizzle adapter isn't ready yet, but I can go through and I can show you how I did that. And all of this here, I'm gonna host this on Vercel. So I can put another box around this and I can say that this is going to the cell. And then there's going to be another two components to this. And so these other two components I'm going to host on DigitalOcean just because again, it's really fast. So this is going to be DigitalOcean. And inside of here is going to be two Go applications. So one is going to be a redirect service. So I'm gonna have another service here. And this redirect service is going to be responsible for redirecting the user to the short URL, but it's also going to be responsible for tracking the click. Then there's going to be one other service, and this is going to be a TLS checking service. So what I wanna have for this side project is custom domains. So you can point your domain at this service, and then you can start using the short URL through your domain. To do that, I'm going to be using Caddy. So I guess here we're gonna have caddy. And caddy is going to be sending traffic to the redirect service here. So when I have a request come in for say example.com and I don't have an SSL certificate for that domain, I need to do a TLS check here. So I need to say, should I sign a certificate for this domain or should I not? So I need to point caddy to this TLS check service. And then I'm going to do a lookup inside of my Neon Postgres database. And I'm gonna say, hey, is this domain registered to a given organization? And if it is, then I'm going to say, yes, caddy, can you please sign me a certificate for this domain? Once I've signed that original certificate, then we can just continue to use that certificate to do the redirects. Okay, so that's pretty much the whole thing that I'm gonna build for just the MVP. Let's dive into the code and have a quick look. Okay, so the first thing is this next auth and inside of auth options, you can see that I have a drizzle adapter here and basically a next auth adapter just does a bunch of functions for you. So it's a function that returns an object and then it does a bunch of things. So we're gonna have a function to create a user. We're gonna have a function to get a user. 
get a user by email and so on. And then once you've filled in all of these functions, you have your adapter. So you could make an adapter for anything if you wanted. So I'll just start the application up and I'll just show you quickly what I've got so far. So if we go to localhost, you can see that you log in and I'm just stringifying this data here. This is something that I always do is just print the data to the screen. And then as I'm working with it, I can see exactly what's in the object. I don't have to keep referring to my schema or anything like that. So you can see that you can add a custom domain. So it's gonna load up my custom domains. You can create a campaign and then a campaign is going to have an influencer. So you can see that I have one campaign here. It has a cost of 1000 and then it links off to an influencer. So let's say that Neon sponsored me, I would be the influencer on this campaign. And then the thousand would be the amount that they paid me. So on a campaign, you can have multiple short URLs. So my idea here is that you would have a short URL to say the YouTube video, and let's say they also did a short for you. You could put a different short URL in the shorts video. And then let's also say they did an Instagram post, then you would give them a different URL for that. And that way you can track where exactly the traffic's coming from. Did it come from their YouTube video or did it come from their Instagram post? And then eventually it's going to tell you how much this campaign actually bought in, in terms of clicks. And eventually I want to add a webhook so you can call back and say, hey, I had somebody sign up under this campaign and the dollar value for that sign up is say $10. And then you can track how many signups and what sort of dollar value you have for a given campaign. So I think the last interesting thing to show is probably just the schemas. So if we go into database, you can see that we have all of these schemas here. And basically these are just drizzle schemas. So you can see that we're using Postgres here. And then I have a schema in a different file for each one of my resources that I'm going to be creating. So these schemas are actually really cool because inside of the package.json, you can see that we have two commands, migrate and generate. So generate is going to generate the migration files and then we can run migrate. So we can open up the terminal here and we can run pmpm migrate. And then this is going to connect to my database and it's going to make any changes that this migration file says that it needs to make. So you can see here's my latest migration and it's basically just saying to alter this table here. And that migration file is really simple because Drizzle gives you this migration function here and you basically just connect to your database and then run migrate and you tell it where your migrations are. So that is what I'm using for my latest side project. If you wanna get updates on this side project, make sure you just subscribe and make sure you turn notifications on and let me know in the comments section below if you like this style of video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.